Hello, everybody. All right, so today we're doing the Chapter 7 Mid-Chapter Checkpoint. We're on page 299. So choose the best term from the box, and a blank always has a numerator of 1. Well, a fraction doesn't always have a numerator of 1. Simplest form, you don't need to have a numerator of 1 to be in simplest form. I could say 2 fifths, and that would be in simplest form. So the only good answer here is a unit fraction because a unit fraction means I have to have like one eighth, one fifth, one fourth. Those are all unit fractions. All right, number two, write the fraction as a sum of unit fractions. All right, well, three tenths. How many tenths do we have? We have three of them. So we have one tenth plus one tenth plus one tenth. Six sixths. How many sixths do we have? Six of them. So one sixth, six times. Okay. Just to confirm, one, two, three, four, five, six. All right. Um, number four, this is a subtraction problem because I see the circle with the X in it. That means to subtract. So we have three-fifths shaded in the model, and we're going to take away two-fifths. That left one-fifth. One-fifths in simplest form. Number five. Again, we're subtracting. This time we have five-sixths minus one-sixth, which leaves us four-sixths. Now, 4 sixths is not in simplest form because I know I can divide 4 and the 6 by at least 2. So let's see what the common factors of 4 and 6 are. The factors of 4 are 1 and 4 and 2 times 2. The factors of 6 are 1 and 6, 2 and 3. All right, so 2 is the greatest common factor. So 4 sixths divide by 2 would give me two-thirds. So four-sixths or two-thirds. Okay. Number six. All right, this is an addition problem. And we have two different parts. We have three-eighths plus two-eighths. That gives me five-eighths. Five is prime and is not a factor of eight. So that is in simplest form. Okay, number seven, we have four temps adding uh, with five temps added to it. That would give us nine temps. The factors of nine are one and nine and three and three. The factors of 10 are one and 10, two and five. So the only thing in common to nine and 10 is one, so that's in simplest form. Anytime you only can divide a fraction by one, it's in simplest form. Number eight, nine twelfths take away seven twelfths. Well, since the size of the pieces are the same, we just have to take away, we just subtract the numerator. So nine take away seven is two. So two twelfths. Since they're both even, I know I can reduce or simplify 2 twelfths by dividing by 2. So 1 sixth. 2 thirds plus 1 third. That's 3 thirds. All right? 2 plus 1 is 3 over third size pieces. And 3 over 3, the numerator and denominator are exactly the same. So. We could say three-thirds or one whole. Number 10, fifth size pieces, and we have four of them. The factors of four are one, two, and four. The only thing in common with five would be the one, so that's in simplest form. Number 11, two-sixths plus two-sixths. That's four-sixths. Well, we know the factors of 4 are 1, 2, and 4. And 6 is 1 and 6, 2 and 3. 
So I can reduce 4, 6 by a factor of 2. So 4, 6 or 2 thirds. 4 fourths take away 2 fourths. Well, 4 take away 2 is 2 fourths. And you should be able to recognize that 2 is half of 4. So 2 fourths or 1 half. Number 13. So the size of the pieces are eighths. And we're going to subtract the numerator. 7 take away 4 is 3. 3 is prime and is not a factor of 8. That's in simplest form. All right. 14. Tyrone mixed 7 quarts, 7 twelfths quart of red paint with 1 twelfths quart of yellow paint. How much paint does Tyrone have in the mixture? Well, we can draw a picture. We don't have to. But we can model it with a picture. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, so we have 12 sections. We're going to label each piece as 1 12th. So we're making fraction strips. Okay, and we're going to add 7 twelfths. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 7 twelfths. And then we're going to add a quart of yellow paint. So we have 8 twelfths sections of paint. 8 and 12 are both even, so I know it can be divided by at least 2. So let's list the factors of 8. 1 and 8, and 2 and 4. Okay. Factors of 12. 1 and 12, 2 and 6, and 3 and 4. So the greatest common factor is 4. So 8 twelfths divided by a factor of 4 is 2 thirds. So we say 8 twelfths or 2 thirds quart of paint. Fifteen. Jorge lives six eighths miles from school, two eighths mile from a ballpark. How much farther does Jorge live from school than from the ballpark? All right. So again, if we wanted to draw a picture, we we could. And this time we'd have eighth size pieces. And each piece is one eighth size. All right. <clears throat> and so he lives six eighths mile from school. Six eighths. And two eighths mile from a ballpark. How much farther? So that means that word farther implies subtracting between them. I want to find the difference. So I'm going to take these, take two of them, and I'm going to subtract them. All right, so six eighths take away two eighths. That leaves me one, two, three, four sections shaded out of eight pieces. And four is half of eight. So four eighths or one half mile farther. Number 16. Sue Ling started an art project with one yard of felt. She used five-sixth yard. How much felt does Sue Ling have? So we'll have a yard of felt, five-six yards being used. How much does she have left? That means to subtract it. So we have one take away how much she used. Okay. Or I could write the one as six-sixths. Would you agree that 6 sixths is equal to 1? Yes, because the numerator and denominator are the same. Okay, so we're going to take away 5 6. Oh, okay, well that leaves me 1 sixth yard. And 17. Eloise hung artwork on 2 fifths of a bulletin board. She hung math papers on 1 fifth of the same bulletin board. 
what part of the bulletin board has artwork or math papers. Okay, so when we see or like this in math, that's implying that we need to add them together. It doesn't matter whether it's art or math. How much do we have of those two choices? So one-fifth plus two-fifths. Well, the fifth size pieces are the same. So how many of those five sections on the bulletin board are being used? One, two, three. Three-fifths, artwork, or math. Okay. So that's it for the Chapter 7 mid-chapter ch checkpoint. I'm confident you'll do well on the quiz. So until our next session, may the numbers always be in your favor.